sound check overview in NoteFlight Learn. NoteFlight Learn has its own performance assessment directly built in, and it's called SoundCheck. And SoundCheck gives you ratings on pitch and rhythm, and uh, it gives you a score. So SoundCheck is directly integrated with NoteFlight Learn, and it's actually connected to your NoteFlight Learn scores. It has its own set of controls, but it functions like every other musical score in NoteFlight Learn. So let's take a look. Here I am in a SoundCheck score in NoteFlight Learn. Now, Notice that I have it have a little bit of a score details panel, right? And also I have my own control set. So you notice we no longer have the editor controls because we're not in the note flight editor. Now we're in a sound check score. But in sound check, you can play. Right, and you're playing all the parts. You can also Isolate individual parts just like no flight. You can see the full score or you can dial in to just an individual part, right? You can control the tempo of sound check, right? So it, the score was, was composed at 68, but if I'd like to learn it and practice it slower, I can use the slider or you can do these cool like minus one beat per minute, minus five. So if you're not a slider person, you have other options or you can always reset back. Um, you can mark a selection. So let's say I only want to assess the first you know, few measures. I can select that, um, reset that selection. There's a tuner built in, so you, it does assess intonation. So you'll want to make sure that you're in tune to start. Um, and then there's some more information that'll come up we'll talk about later. So the sound check controls are really designed for students and teachers to use left to right, but you see the full score, students select their part, and let's see what sound check does. Now I'm not a violin player, but I'm gonna play the violin part on my handy dandy piccolo trumpet and show you how this works. So I'm gonna select my part, I'm gonna listen to it, make sure it's what I wanna hear, now I'm just hearing the demo audio. So I'm gonna go into tracks. When I hit playback, I might wanna hear the backing track. That's the full score. So I can actually listen to this with the full score. That's a lot nicer, so I like that. So now, when I hit record, do I want to hear the metronome or the backing track? Notice Soundcheck does not let students record along with the demo audio. And because that's just like learning by rote, like we don't want them to like hear the thing they're trying to assess. So they only have a couple options. They can record with a metronome only, which they can't hear anything but the click, or they can record with the backing track. And later in 201, I'll show you how you can control what students can do. So if you don't want them to hear anything but the metronome, you can control that. But back to the sound check controls, you also can have the opportunity to show or hide cursor. A lot of times the cursor can be distracting when playing when recording along or sometimes students don't count their rest because the cursor is like there so you can control this option as well i tend to keep the cursor off for assessment but i'm going to keep it on so you can see what i'm doing while i'm doing it so i've got backing track set cursor set i'm ready to go let's record and see uh, let me go to mark selection so i'm going to record this first part and let's see how sound check works So I had some tempo issues, I had some note fumbling around, good mix of things and stuff in there. So I got a 64, fair, <laughs> um, and we got a 90 on pitch, but a 37 on rhythm. So let's take a look. Sound check. Uh, green, yellow, orange, or red, the color lets me know I played wrong notes. The variations of the line let me know that I uh, deviated from the rhythm. So the line goes down, I was a little too slow, line goes up, I was too fast, and I started slow and I rushed, so you'd expect that little swoop. If this feedback is a little intense for you, there's also a simpler feedback option 
where you get like a more simple grid and you can hover and you can just see little error messages. Though I do find the full feedback once you get used to it very helpful, right? So now I can hover and see, and as a student, I can see all my little error messages. I played a wrong note here, wrong note here, right? Wrong note here, little flat to be expected. Right. So the other cool thing about Soundcheck is this is some feedback. I could record again and try to do a better job. But the thing I love is student accountability. So now I can go back into tracks and I can say I have all these extra options. So now there's a matched recording. That's what I just recorded. I can add a backing to the recording. So I could hear my matched recording with the backing track. Right. You have all these options in here, which I can play for you. So if I hit play, it will actually play back. Oop, I need to hit the, I need to select this. It'll play it back. Oh, how do you use sound check? I don't even know. Um, oh, I didn't select match recording as a backing track. Um, but also you can choose to hear easily between what you, what the demo was supposed to be and the match recording. And this is what I really wanted to show you. So notice this cursor is green on the staff. And then if I select the recording area, it's green on the recording. So I can click here and hit play and it will play what it's supposed to sound like. Or I can select what I played and hear my recording. I know what happened. I'm using loopback to play my Chrome back through. So when I hit record, loopback recorded what you were hearing back into sound check on top of my trumpet. I should have turned off that loopback section. So that's why it's a little weird right now. But um, I think we get the, so students can click their notes, click this note and they can hear. So you can actually hear my trumpet in the background, but it's sort of mixed in with everything you are hearing. Again, students can do this, they get an assessment and that's totally in. So that's your sound check overview.